seen water fall over flowing of bones and body parts. I'm telling you, the health department's going to come down big time on this dump. Yeah. 
at all the security. This must be the source of all the disgusting green soup. without fighting the rest of the clues. These codes are nothing before my righteous analytical ability. The combination has to be 571. These are the blueprints to Miss Ruby's production facility. I'll pipe this information into your binocucom. Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. That vehicle seems to be outfitted with some sort of high-energy cannon. Use the left analog stick to move and aim the right analog stick in the direction you want to shoot. Remember, you can always shoot in one direction while moving in another.
matter, that flowing soup is really highly charged ectoplasm. It's just got to be the source of power for those headstone generators. With all the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. But we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toting roosters. Be careful, or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it?
The only way to open up that voodoo gate is by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit.
Could feel that Cooper vibe coming. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth a moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well. If jaws need to flap, then let them flap! See you in the next world, Slack Hooper! Come back here. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant chumly escort you over here? All right. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well... I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get zapped. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. <laughs>
You certainly got some rhythm, raccoon. But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the Panda King. He's tough, with a capital T. If you go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes for my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of Zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper.